So this is one of our favorite pies that we hatch, and we're gonna have troubles parting with this dude. What is up, you guys? It is Jace from Gen Z Reptiles, and today we're gonna show you some of the snakes that we have on Morph Market. Uh, we actually had a decent amount of hatchlings that are showing strong feeding patterns and are looking real healthy, so we decided to post them all in one wave. Um, we wanted to give you guys a an inside scoop of what we've got available, get, let you guys get first dibs, and um, yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. So to start, we have a piebald male and he has very high white well relatively high whites here um, most of the back half we're looking at is pretty white he's got a little bit of coloration on the tail a little dark spot up here this one is his hatchling code is 20-c1-pied-m2 so look for that on north market if you're interested here is another piebald male his brother to the other one that we showed and He's about medium white to high white. A little bit more coloration on him. Um, more spots on the back here. Yeah, just awesome looking guy. His hatchling code is 20-C1-Pied-M5. And here's another brother from that clutch. His code is 20-C1-Pied-M6. One thing I really, really like about this one he got it from his mama. It's this variation between um, the dark and the light and the coloration on him. A uh, little bit lower white, higher pattern, but just looks phenomenal. So this is one of our favorite pies that we hatch and we're gonna have troubles parting with this dude. Really considering holding him back, but uh, we'll see what happens. His coat is 20-C4-Pied-M3 and it just has these wicked awesome oranges on the side high pattern for a piebald very low white um i don't know if we can get that on camera here i'll try to stretch them out so we can see but just by far the, our favorite pie that we hatched out this year awesome feeder very aggressive feeder and yeah i just can't say enough about this dude he just looks amazing this dude is actually a darker pied uh, he has a lot of these really nice rusty orange looking patches on him and he actually has several patches of um, coloration on him i would say that's about 50 to 70 i guess i don't have a good gauge of white but uh, a little bit higher white for a pied his hatchling coat is 20-c4-pied-m2 we're looking at some het pied markers on this one this dude is an awesome feeder um, he pounds, he pounds frozen thawed mice like nothing. Um, beautiful colors. He almost looks like he has some other gene going on there. I know it's just the het pied, but it's just an amazing example of that het pied. You saw the tracks on the side. He has some higher white patches. Uh, the tones in between the brown patches are awesome. The alien heads just look really funny. But his his hatchling coat is twenty dash C four dash het pied dash M one. All right, this is a het for a xanthic male. That's the VPI line that we're working with. His code is 20-C2-HETAX-M1. And you can see he's got some nice chocolatey browns up here. The black on the back is just stark black. Really awesome looking guy. So this one is actually his brother. He is a pinstripe axanthic. So that gives you an idea of the axanthic line that we're working with. His code is 20-C2-PINAX-M1. And he's just looking fantastic. So on the sides here, we've got some really nice white around that pattern there. The back and sides are the silvery gray and that pinstripe, just awesome pattern as always. This one's from another clutch. So this is clutch three. His code is 20-C3-LES-M1. This is a lesser male. And just a beautiful example of a single gene lesser. This one, you can see it's starting to fill out a bit. It's a super strong feeder. This is a lesser female. 20-C3-LES-F1 is her hatchling code. Um, go check her out on Morph Market. She's just an awesome, awesome example of that lesser gene once again. This one is a cinnamon. Her hatchling code is 20-C3-CIN-F3. She's got beautiful blushing on the sides. 
that nice deep brown chocolatey back. This is the next cinnamon that we have available. Awesome high whites on the side there. And you can see they have that connecting alien heads. I love that about the cinnamon. This dude is relatively docile and um, his hashling code is 20-C3-CIN-M1. This girl is not the most common combo, but awesome potential with this. It's, she's a het red azanthic pinstripe. And I don't see too many people working with that het red azanthic gene, but we love it here at Gen Z Reptiles. Her hashling code is 20-C5-EG2-F. And she just has this really neat copper tones to her. So I don't know how well we're picking this up on the video, but definitely check out the pictures of her to get a better look at the those true copper colors that she has in her. She also has some nice side pattern. It's super funky. Almost reminds me of like Aztec patterning or something like that. So here is another one that we have that has that het red azanthic gene in it. So this can kind of show you the potential that that het red has. This dude is actually the highest gene count snake that we produced this year. He is a spinner blast gargoyle. So that is pinstripe, pastel, spider, red azanthic, and cinnamon. Yeah, this is an amazing combo. You can see he has like some blue eyeshadow on top. His eyes are blue, so looks awesome. And the potential with this dude is immense. So because he has the cinnamon and the het red azanthic, they're allelic. Every single baby that comes out of him is going to be either cinnamon or het red azanthic, plus all these other genes. So his hashling code is 20-C5-AG5-M. Check him out, you guys. If you enjoyed those awesome hatchlings, please drop us a like. And if you don't already, consider subscribing. If you have any questions about any of those snakes that we showed today, feel free to DM us through Instagram or directly through Morph Market. We will drop links down below to those. And that's all we got for today. If you made it to the end, thank you so much. We appreciate you and we'll see you next time.